Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, and in this video I'm going to talk about my current bow situation. I've had a lot of questions regarding why am I shooting this, uh, why am I not shooting this, and just everything in between. So uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss why I'm shooting what I'm shooting currently, and uh, my future plans, and I don't know, at least the direction I'm trying to head uh, in the future. So. Stay tuned through the uh, the whole video to find out the whole scoop on uh, what <laughs> what's going on with my bow, <laughs> my bows. <laughs> I gotta call it bows. Um, other than that, uh, you can pick up Short Shot Archery T-shirts now at the Short Shot Archery shop at shortshotarchery.org. Um, pretty cool. Okay, so now into uh, what everybody's here for, besides besides the T-shirts, uh, the bow. This is the current bow that I'm shooting. So we got a gray archery AIX riser, 25 inch. Uh, we got some 40 pound uh, win and win uh, NSG limbs. Of course, I'm pulling about uh, about 45 and a half on them. Uh, for the site, still got the original Shiboya site with uh, the Chef uh, scope here from Trueball Excel. Uh, it's just a dot. There's no. Uh, there's no lens in it. I'm not really a lens fan. I don't know, it just never never was my thing. I still have the biter plunger, biter uh, arrow, uh, butter clicker, uh, Shiboya arrow rest. Uh, the stabilizer uh, did change. Right now I'm testing out uh, the Imper's uh, stabilizer from MK Archery. I switched that out from my Shrewd. Uh, so far, though, uh, this stabilizer uh, setup uh, is really nice. We've got some weights on the end. Um, it, it's really nice. Um, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, of course, all that will be covered when I, you know, make and put together the review video on them. Uh, other than that, I did actually add some weight to my stabilizer setup. Um, I added an extra ounce in the front. Yeah, that's where I put it. I'm thinking about adding an extra ounce in the front and then an ounce on each side too still. Um, my form has gotten a lot more solid over the last year since I did any kind of video related to my equipment, in this manner at least. Uh, so I'm actually thinking about going up on stabilizer weight again because everything's feeling really solid and I feel like I can handle some more stabilizer weight which will make uh, the bow a little steadier in the wind for outdoor season doesn't really have an effect indoor season um but you know if you can do it you might as well uh, at least that's basically how my coach explained it uh so i like to follow his points on a lot of things you know most things are of my thing my own ideas and design but um i usually ask him to see what his thoughts are since you know he has that shooting background from Korea and everything like that I might as well see what what he has to say because from my knowledge Korea does a lot of testing on equipment that no one uh, hears about just they just share about uh, they just share this information through their company teams and things like that so um yeah I, I ask him for his opinion on things and uh, yeah he likes the direction I'm I'm working on on going uh, with things of uh, with that though for the riser i'm really liking the gray uh aix another riser i'm a big fan of is the mkz uh, i would be shooting that riser but i really like the grip on this uh this bow comes stock with a jaeger grip and not that the mkz's grip is bad but uh the stock jaeger grip on this is so nice and it fit it just fit into my hands so well without doing any kind of modifications or anything. Uh, just for the ease of making everything shoot and work well. Um, I just, I just, I'm just sticking with this bow at this point in time. Maybe that'll change in the future, but I don't know. I do like this riser too, though. Like it's, it's solid. Um, I like how easy it is to adjust. Um, it has the same kind of limb adjustments and things like the win and win bows, except for the fact that the limb bolts. On the, on the top and the bottom here actually pivot in order to sit flush with the limb so there's no gap in between. I think that's a really cool uh, design and it just it makes more sense why put all the pressure of the limb on a little section of the limb. You know, might as well spread it out on the, uh, on the dovetail of the limb. So I don't know, I like that. 
uh, for the limbs. I got the win and win NSGs. They're good. Uh, they're fairly smooth. Um, I have dampeners on them because they definitely have too much, in my opinion, too much power to them. And um, it's just like power. Like, and if you if you look at the the data I have on the website, you can see they're speed wise they're the fastest limb, but they're also very heavy. Like even though this is just graphene, and you think, oh, it's you know, kind of gotta be kind of like carbon fiber. It's gotta be pretty light. Um, I know I weighed it. You know, of course, with the dampeners on it, it came in fairly heavy. It's definitely heavier than uh, this next limb which is the Zest Limbs. Now, personally, I like these Zest Limbs more than I do the NSGs. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, those are 40 pound limbs and I almost have my tiller bolts all the way out uh, because with my draw length and how I want that all to tune with the arrows I'm shooting, uh, that's what I have to do. Uh, these are only 44 pounds. And uh, I can't get them to work. These limbs are too fast and the bow's too strong for everything to work. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real disappointment because I was really looking forward to, uh, to shooting these because I, I have shot them uh, previously. And I, I shot them when they were higher weight for, for a little bit uh, to, you know, to, to test them out. And... Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's just that they're so nice and, and smooth, but they're still quick. Um, but they, they're just not going to work for that particular setup. Now I can get them to shoot on, uh, the MKX-10 or like a GMX and, or other bows of, of that, uh, geometry. I can get these limbs at 44 pounds to tune up great. I, I can get them at that like 45 and a half, 46 pounds, and then get everything else like the arrows and stuff to tune to it. And it shoots fantastic, except that's not really the riser I want to shoot. Um, I like the quicker, uh, the straighter geometry of uh, like the MKZ and the gray AIX down there. And these limbs uh, are just too heavy for that. So I, the strategy, I guess, in the future would be to, uh, if I actually got the, uh, <laughs> the money for it, would be to go and get some probably like 40 pound, maybe 42 pound, probably 40 pound zest limbs, and then I'll be good to go. Because uh, if you actually look at our, our new tab with limb smoothness, uh, these limbs right here come in really sweet. They really smooth out uh, right at that 28 and a half inch draw length. And now that, that draw length I measured from the throat of the knock to uh, the center of the plunger. So obviously you need some arrow in front of that. That works perfectly with my normal arrow length of uh, 30.5. Of course, I could probably go a little bit longer, except it's going to weaken the shaft and then I'll probably have to go up a size. And I really don't want to go up from four tens. Uh, and I don't want to go to, a, well, I guess it would be technically a lower spine. It would be a, a thicker arrow. I don't want to go to a lower spine. Uh, in X tens because I don't want that thick of an arrow and the, the grains per inch really jump up a lot too uh, with the next spine lower than the four tens that I'm currently shooting so uh, yeah that's that's basically the the current um, shooting bow situation uh, string wise if anybody knows I was shooting or still currently am shooting um, the uh, fast flight plus of course, uh, the company that makes Fast Flight Plus, uh, I think Brownell, uh, they went out of business. So in the long term, I'm going to have to switch to, I think it's Spectra Spectra 52. I, I, I'm sure I have that wrong. I'm, I'm very sure it's Spectra. I forget what the numbers are. But it's basically BCY's equivalent of Fast Flight Plus. So I'm going to give that a go in the future when I start running out of Fast Flight Plus. Uh, until then, I'm going to keep using a Fast Flight Plus string because I really like it. Um, there's something about having that more, um, I guess, I wouldn't call it consistent, but um, just, a, I don't know, the, the string seems less tense isn't the word. Um, but when, I'm, when I've been using some of the uh, less uh, stretchy strings, uh, especially like an 8190, 
Uh, that stuff doesn't really stretch, or at least it doesn't seem like it stretches. Uh, those limbs and, and how it just shoots with the bow, it, it seems very uh, way too quick, it, it, un, un, unnecessarily quick. Uh, and the Fast Flight Plus has been working great for me. Uh, it may not be for everybody, but um, I don't know, that's my two cents on it. Uh, other than that, uh, that is an update on uh, my current bow situation. And uh, we'll see how it evolves in the future, especially coming up to 2020 and uh, the new bows and products rolling off the line. Um, I don't know if I'll you know, get a chance to get any of those or not. I'm, I'm hoping to, uh, you know, depending on uh, if companies want to supply them for testing, um, if there's anything that I can afford to purchase, uh, depending on how, uh, you know, finances are, hopefully I'll be able to test out some of the brand new limbs and equipment uh, that is on the market and really get all this information out there so that we can compare and see, uh, you know, what's really good, what's, what's you know, the new rising star and uh, you know what doesn't quite make the grade. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed you know, a little bit of rambling on but at the same point in time now you know uh, what's going on with my equipment. Uh, I, do, I do have uh, the MKX-10 set up with these Zest limbs as my backup bow. Uh, it just shoots a little bit slower because that, that MKX-10 doesn't quite have as aggressive of a geometry as the AIX and the MKZ do, but you, you got to work with what you, with what you got. So that, that's what <laughs> that's what I have. So that's what I'm uh, I'm putting to work. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. Don't forget to check out shirts on the site.